Hi, I'm Dr. Deed Harrison. I'm the director of the Ideal Spine Health Center. I'm standing out in front of this facility. It is the largest corrective care facility in the United States. We're located here in Eagle, Idaho at 950 East Riverside Drive. I'd love to give you a tour of the place, and in fact, that's what we're going to do. So come on inside and let me show you around. We're inside the Ideal Spine Health Center. Uh, what we're showing here is our adjusting suites. We have three state-of-the-art adjusting suites where our different chiropractors actually work on the patients. Uh, you'll notice that there's adjusting tables there as well as there's instruments that we use. The, the instruments are for people that uh, maybe aren't responding to the classic joint manipulation or joint adjusting, or maybe they're fear fearful of it or they don't like it. And it, by the way, it's very, very safe and you should be comfortable with it, but if you're not, we have alternative solutions. We have state-of-the-art instruments as well as state-of-the-art adjusting tables. Uh, the chiropractic adjustment is at the core of what we do. It's absolutely important for the function, the movement, of the spine as well as helping us rehabilitate the shape of the spine. Uh, the chiropractic adjustment is known to actually improve people's pain conditions and improve the way the nervous system functions. So oftentimes people will say that in, in addition to their pain and movement being better, some interesting things will improve, like some people will report clarity of thought after the chiropractic adjustment, or they'll, they'll report improved vision after the chiropractic adjustment. So again, this is our adjusting area. This is where we're going to physically work with the patients on an individual basis. One of the key features at the Ideal Spine Health Center that makes us relatively unique from a chiropractic but also from a spine rehabilitation perspective is the type of equipment that we use to rehabilitate the structure or the alignment of your spine. Uh, when people come in with spine injuries and spine dysfunction, you can bet that the alignment of the spine is going to be altered. And what we're going to do is we're gonna properly an, an analyze that and we'll determine exactly how and where your spine is displaced. Well, all the equipment that you see in the background is specifically used to physically reposition or rehabilitate the structure of the spine. And you'll see a variety of equipment. The equipment is used for the low back and the pelvis, or the, the mid back, the rib cage, or it's used for the neck or the cervical spine. And we use each piece of equipment very precisely and in a very controlled manner to properly re-educate and rehabilitate the alignment of your spine. We call it spinal traction, but it's not the traction that most people are used to. It, it's not stretching the long axis of the spine. It's traction to physically remodel the shape of the spine, and that's really at the core of a patient's dysfunction. And, and it's the reason that you're suffering from whatever condition it may be. So come on in, check out the Ideal Spine Health Center, and we'll determine which, if any, type of spinal traction you're a candidate for. Okay, shown in the, in the background right behind me is some of our cervical or neck uh, traction equipment. And this equipment is really, really important for people that have head and neck injuries, such as motor vehicle accidents, or maybe they've been in others, traumas, sports injuries, like if they play football as the weekend warrior and they've hit their head and, and uh, now they're getting headaches and neck pain from that, or maybe you're a skier and, and ski season is approaching here, it's November in uh, Eagle, Idaho, and you know people are gonna be going to Bogus Basin and up to Sun Valley, and you know hopefully this doesn't happen to you, but if you get in one of those injuries and accidents and you take a fall down the, the slope Slopes, you know, it's likely going to cause head and neck problems. And the number one issue that happens is people injure the shape of their neck curve called the cervical lordosis, or really the curve that should be in the neck. Well, chiropractors like us, we take x-rays before we perform any type of treatment so we can understand exactly what's wrong with your neck. And when we see altered cervical curvatures, abnormal shapes in the neck, we've got to do things to rehabilitate that structure. And that's what the equipment behind me is able to do. We can take specific types of necks and we can apply, apply specific types of forces to them to get them to change back to the normal alignment. So we call that cervical traction. 
but it's not the classic traction that a lot of people are used to. It's not stretching your spine straight up and down and it's not bending your head forward. Those things take the curve out of your neck and you know while those may feel good a little bit at first they're really not doing what they should be doing to help change the alignment of the cervical curve or the neck curve. This is the equipment that we use to rehabilitate that natural curve and depending on exactly what you have will do very specific things with you. So this is the equipment that we use at least some of it and maybe you're a candidate for that and maybe you're not. The only way to find out is to come on down to the Ideal Spine Health Center and let's see what's going on if you do have a condition that warrants in intervention. Let us see what we can do. We're inside the fitness center at the Ideal Spine Health Center. We have a state-of-the-art 1,700 square foot fitness area that's part of our facility here. Uh, it's separated off so the noise doesn't transmit out to the, the uh, spinal rehabilitation and the chiropractic adjusting area. As part of this uh, facility, we have the power plates. We are the largest power plate uh, training center uh, on the western side of the Rocky Mountains. Now the power plates are amazing equipment. They, they are for spinal rehabilitation and also fitness and strength and conditioning. Uh, the, the technology was originally designed by NASA and also out of Europe and Russia. It was originally used for Olympic athletes back in the 1970s and 80s and also the technology, uh, the, the early form of the technology was used in astronauts in outer space that were having problems with lack of gravity. So what NASA did is they, they took an early form of, of these power plates, and they weren't called power plates back then, but they took an early form of them and they would strap the astronauts down with a harness to the whole body vibration. And the whole body vibration has this vertical lift component that would load the spine simulating gravitational forces. By doing that, they found out that the astronauts could stay in, in space very long periods of time compared to what they were uh, able to do before. Well, out of that early technology was born the power plates. Power plates are whole body vibration and they basically accelerate your body at different frequencies and different amplitudes. Now, to begin, we start at very safe frequencies and very safe amplitudes. But as people learn to, to uh, get uh, you know, adjusted to the plates in terms of its force, then we can increase the amplitude and increase the frequency of vibration. In the end, we're able to apply uh, very large forces to the spine in very controlled manners where people that couldn't work out in the gym on regular equipment, they can actually work out on the power plate. Uh, doing 30 minutes on the power plate in a physical fitness is equivalent to doing two hours of aggressive workout in the gym with free weights. So we're looking at, it's cutting down the time of training to 25% of the time, such that 15 minutes equals one hour or 30 minutes equals two hours. Uh, the power plate again, it is whole body vibration. And that whole body vibration, what it will do is it will re-educate your body's sense of balance and stability. So for people that are older or have ankle and knee and hip injuries and loss of balance, we can achieve improved balance of these uh, types of patients. Also what it will do is it will increase bone mineral density. This is an amazing thing for people that are in their older years. You know, the so-called golden years sometimes aren't so golden when you have health problems and you have osteoporosis. Well, the power plates can help to improve bone mineral density when used on a regular basis and appropriately. The, the power plates also have been shown to trigger an increase in growth hormone in the human body. Growth hormone is very important for healing and turnover of tissue and strength of tissue. So human growth hormone is increased at, at higher levels on the power plate versus traditional workouts. Also what's improved is serotonin. Serotonin is the feel good neurotransmitter in your body. When you're working out on the power plate, you get increased levels of serotonin and you just can't help but feel good. Now shown behind me are two people, volunteers, that are working out on the power plates. So they're showing you different things. And some of you might be watching and going, well that looks easy. I can guarantee you it's not easy under the power plate vibration. Okay, so we start very slow. The other thing is, some people might look at it and go, 
go, whoa, I can't do what they're doing. Well, you know what? You can. We just do it at a, a, a different level. We do it at a beginner's level, and then you slowly work up to what is happening in the background. So as part of the Ideal Spine Health Center, we're going to focus on spine rehabilitation or joint rehabilitation as well as strength, condition, and fitness. And I know that you'll love this equipment. Come on down and check it out. We're, we're in the Ideal Spine Health Center's state-of-the-art conference center. This is a 2,000 square foot conference room that is really designed for two purposes. Number one, we want to provide the, the best possible education and presentations for our patients possible. We, we want to teach our community about a healthy lifestyle and really how, how they can learn to help themselves, which in the end makes our jobs easier. You know, we want to give presentations that are properly structured about nutrition, about dietary uh, changes that people need to be making that go along with uh, spine rehabilitation and that also will improve their pain or health condition that they have. We also want to give presentations about the spine so people understand what the spine is all about and their unique spine injury. So part of this conference center is de dedicated to providing a high quality, uh, very professional and interactive community presentations and we do this on a weekly basis. Uh, our community presentations can be uh, looked up on our website idealspinehealth.com or you can call us up and you can ask when our presentations are and what types of presentations we will be giving. Again they're on a weekly basis. Now the main part about of this conference center it's really designed for doctor educational purposes. Uh, part of my role as a researcher in the chiro chiropractic profession is also to teach that research and teach technique updates to chiropractic professionals. So we built this conference center so chiropractors from around the world, believe it or not, around the world will come to Eagle, Idaho and they will get training on current concepts and updates in the chiropractic profession and also in the spine uh, in, in general. So we'll learn not just about chiropractic but we'll learn about spine uh, updates and insights that are happening in different professions. So we are set up to train and teach chiropractic professionals. We'll, we'll likely do about 20 uh, professional uh, chiropractic conferences per year. Our first one is going to be held December 8th and 9th of this year, 2012, and we're anticipating approximately 30 to 40 chiropractors from around the United States. They will come to this conference center here, here in Eagle, Idaho, and they will learn about some of the concepts that we use on our patients here at the Ideal Spine Health Center. Uh, and really this conference center for chiropractors is called the CBP uh, Doctor Institute. So the CBP Doctor Institute. So you'll see on one side of the building where the conference room is, you'll see a sign with its logo that says the CBP Doctor Institute versus the main facility is the public health and patient uh, center which is called the Ideal Spine Health Center. So this is our state-of-the-art conference room. Uh, I hope that you will come by and I hope you will sit through some of the educational presentations that we, we do and I look forward to seeing you. Okay, we're, we're now inside the x-ray room at the Ideal Spine Health Center. And some people would probably wonder why are we getting a, a tour of the x-ray room? Well, I, I want you to know that in, in chiropractic, the way we practice chiropractic at the Ideal Spine Health Center, we are going to have to have x-rays of, of your spine. Otherwise, we don't know what's wrong. And so I have a staff member and actually another staff member just demonstrating one of the things that we do. We take a full spine side view x-ray and we'll do a full spine front view x-ray. We use state-of-the-art hospital grade digital technology. It's extremely sophisticated equipment. It is very precise and it's very low dose with its x-ray output. And oftentimes people are concerned about x-ray output. I want you to know x-ray is very safe the way we use it and it's used in an appropriate manner. We have to see what your spine looks like. Otherwise, we don't know what's wrong, if anything. And then we don't know what to do if we do find 
that something's wrong with you without an x-ray, we, we can't really see and understand what's happening with your unique condition. And we use that information to determine and dictate whether or not you're a candidate for our care. And some people, quite frankly, are not a candidate for our care. And we can also spot that by proper radiographic analysis. So uh, here at the Ideal Spine Health Center, we use proper x-ray. We use the most sophisticated x-ray equipment that's on the market today. And we're looking for the exact alignment and structure of your spine. That way it'll help us determine what's happening with you. And what I'll do is I'll show you an example of what it is that we're looking for that only an x-ray that's taken appropriately and analyzed appropriately can, uh, can inform us of. Okay, so what I'd like to do is share with you why chiropractors like ourselves at the Ideal Spine Health Center would, would take x-rays of somebody's spine. And I want to go through the example of the neck from the side to give you an understanding of what the normal anatomy and normal alignment is of the spine and then what types of things we actually see with people that have had spine injuries or have neck pain, headaches, asthma, different types of health conditions. So we, we take an x-ray of the neck from the side and what's shown in this chart is this poster is the person is looking this direction. Okay, so what we have is we have the face and the teeth here and we have the skull here on the bottom and then we have the top of the neck called the atlas or the first cervical bone bone number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And what we have is this nice smooth line on the back of the bodies of the vertebra in the neck. And that nice smooth line is colored green. So if you see color, that is a green curve. If you don't see color, it's gonna be a shade of gray. Well, that curve represents the exact ideal alignment of the neck bones from the side. So the neck should line up along that green curved line in a very uniform smooth fashion. In fact, it is actually a piece of a circle or what we call an arc of a circle. So again, the neck bones should line up along that green line. Well, what happens is after an injury, and the injury could have been in the past or it could have been recent. After an injury, your neck will ab absolutely change shape if that injury overcomes the stability of the alignment uh, protective features of your muscles and ligaments. And then what we see is we see a curve that does not look like the ideal curve. So if you look at the back of these vertebra in this example, they're colored red with a red dash. If you don't see color, it's simply the dashed line or the line that has breaks in it. Now, it shows us that there's an abnormal curve that's going on in the neck. Now, if we look at this progression, what we're seeing is a worsening of the condition over time, and we call it a destructive progression of the neck. We'll see that when you lose the neck curve over time, it becomes an abnormal position for your joints such that there's abnormal pressure on the vertebra and abnormal pressure on what's called the disc, which is the cushion between the vertebra, if you will. And disc degeneration and spinal arthritis or disc disease is a very common thing that we see in today's society. And in some people, it can be asymptomatic, meaning no pain, for a long period of time until it becomes too late. Then it starts to affect the numbness and tingling in the hands, pain down the arm, etc. Well, what we want to do is we need to take an x-ray of your neck to determine what the alignment of your neck curve or any curve in your body looks like. And we also want to understand the state of deterioration or spinal arthritis and disc disease that might be present in your spine. Uh, there are some types of degeneration and spine arthritis that are easier to manage and work with people. And there are other types that, quite frankly, we, we should not be doing certain types of interventions as a chiropractor when we see certain types of spine arthritis and disc disease. So uh, it, it's very important that we take a look at your x-rays on multiple levels. And the primary one being simply so we can understand what is wrong with your unique spine and then we understand how we're supposed to manage it. So don't be afraid of the x-rays at the Ideal Spine Health Center. Come on in, check us out. Let's see if this is right for you.